Welcome back. All right, so from a Dallas Stars perspective, from a Dallas Stars fan's perspective, uh, anyways, um, so honestly, for Seattle, I'm happy for Seattle. I am legitimately happy for Seattle. They are 2-0 and when I've used this magnet on the board. Um, I did at one point during the game have the Dallas magnet upside down to symbolize they were in distress, and I thought, no, I'm going to leave it straight up. Uh, the No Mercy magnet went on the board, came off the board, and then I might have cursed under my breath and had to put it back on the board. But at any rate, uh, the game's done. Good night, everybody. Okay, so no, uh, it's Ottinger versus Grubauer. Uh, whether a team I cheer for wins or loses, you guys get should get the same experience each time. So, uh, good early back and forth in this, but the shots are 2 nothing for the Kraken at two minutes. Uh, Susie with a hit on Marchment draws some cheers. Haskinen has a shot that's held. We get some pushing. Fans boo an icing call. Seattle crowd really into this night. Really, really intense crowd, which always makes it more entertaining to watch. Uh, for anybody who watches wrestling, they had WWE events in Puerto Rico, and it made everything feel like a big deal when the crowd was into it all of a sudden. I was like, this, this is what you're sometimes missing. So when you have a good crowd, it makes a huge difference to how entertaining the game is. So Geeky's denied, the star is clear. Alexiak can't bury one as the Kraken press. They had some momentum. Hints then has a shot that saved, the rebounds cleared. Pavelski has a shot that deflects high. Both goalies were sharp early. It would not stay that way, Ottinger. Uh, Domi and Fox have both had shots that are blocked. The Kraken, in transition, was really standing out. Basically, if it's a turnover, it's going the other way. I will say this. If we end up with Seattle and Florida as the Stanley Cup final... A, I would expect that both ESPN and Rogers, in the southern side of the border and the north side of the border, would be all up in arms about ratings, because I can't see the ratings being that high if it was the Kraken and the Panthers. Um, maybe the curiosity factor would come into it, but I, I'm down. I'm down for a brand new Stanley Cup champion if we're going to see that this year. So, uh, yeah, dangerous in transition. Sticks in lanes every shift, too. Like, they came out and they were forcing those turnovers. Crack and press. Larson has a shot that's tipped wide. It's all stretch passes. And at least it's the attempts at the stretch passes by both teams. It felt like both teams were using the same strategies in the first period. And so it was kind of a, a, a chess match. Sprung has a wraparound chance that's blocked. Both teams playing a similar style. The counterattack, the good defense. Uh, Bjorkstrand has a slot shot that's caught and held. Geeky's denied and close. The rebound shot wide. The crack and press in the final minute. Things are pushy on a hold by Ottinger and lots of whistles in that first period. But coming out of the first, I heard about how I was pretty evenly played. And I thought um, the shots are more than two to one in favor of Seattle. So second period, Sagan fires one wide. Dodonov has a turnover chance that saved. And Ben has a shot that's held. Uh, then there was a net feed to Schultz that was blocked. And then with Haskin and down, and he did not come back into the game. He took a puck to the face. Uh, it was kind of a mess. They showed it, I don't know, 15 times. It felt like 15 times. I don't understand why they do this. So Everly, because the whistle doesn't go. The whistle doesn't necessarily sound when a guy's down. And I know there's fans who get upset when that happens. But they don't They don't blow the whistle until Dallas gets the puck. And they didn't. So Everly takes advantage. He scores from Cartier and Beneers at 2 minutes and 10 seconds. So Haskinen did not return. I have no idea what his status is at this point. I wouldn't be surprised if he's out for a while. It depends on what kind of damage was done with that puck to the face. Uh, Seattle looks for another. Borgen has a shot that's held. There's more pressure, though. And then on a two-on-one, Wenberg wires it. He scores from Schwartz and Dunn. That's at 336. The Stars look to answer, but they turn it over again. Robertson then has a rush chance that's saved. Suter has a shot that's blocked. The Stars turn it over again. And this is where they should have changed goaltenders. Susie, five-hole. Terrible goal. Uh, and they were like, oh, look, he wired it. And I'm like, no. I And I'm, I'm not saying that Susie didn't fire a good shot. Just you have to get a save from Ottinger. Uh, Donato and Schultz with the assists at 6 minutes and 30 seconds. Um, just to me, I was like, okay, that's three goals in 4 minutes and 20 seconds. So, yep, make your 420 jokes. Sure. But that's where you have to switch goalies. If you're Pete DeBoer, and it, it doesn't matter if you don't think it's Ottinger's fault. This game was getting away from them. They didn't call a timeout. They didn't switch goalies. It's Vegas all over again. So the Stars press, but only briefly. Uh, it, it didn't last. Hints is denied on a net drive. Everly has a shot that deflects wide. And then it's another bad goal. Beneers, uh, he just puts it past on stick side. And so he scores from Everly at 822. Uh, and that's four goals on five shots for Seattle. So what was happening was Dallas would get shots, Seattle would get the puck and score. Dallas would get a couple of shots, Seattle goes down the ice and scores. And again, there was no 
no consideration apparently given to switching goalies. Like it's four. Like again, at three nothing, it should have happened. Uh, so yeah, Otter saves the next shot. So I thought, well, that's 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 good. Stars press at the half, but they turn it over. Uh, Tanev with a near miss. Robertson's denied on a fast break. Everly with a rush chance that saved. The fans call one. The referee doesn't. And then on his own entry, Marshman puts Dallas on the board from Dodonov at 12.40. So it's a one-timer short side on the zone entry. Stars look for another. Bjorkstrand then nearly adds one at the other end. The Kraken forcing more turnovers. Uh, Stars draw a power play with 4.36 left, but there's an early clear by the Kraken. Stars can't get set up. Hints has a chance that saved the Stars cycle. Miller has a shot tipped wide. Domi has a blast that saved. Power plays killed off four shots. So Grubauer, very solid in the second period against a goaltender who... Nope. Uh, Beneers has a rush that sets up a press. The Kraken press again in the final minute. There was a glove save on Schultz. And then uh, Otter blockers it over to Tolvin. And the nice thing was Dallas is in the middle of a line change, so there weren't very many white jerseys out there to get in the way of the puck anyways. So he just throws it to Tolvin and Donato and Bjorkstrand with the assist at 19-22. And so I, I don't really I can't really blame Otter on that one too much, but again, he gets down, blockers it over. Anyway. Uh Hintz is then denied on a rush with 7.9 seconds left. The stars get a power play. I want to mention that once it was 4-0, before I had a channel, that's where I would have turned the TV off, and I would have suggested to Yvonne we we go see a movie. So <laughs> it's it's five to one after two. This is over, and yet I always get a kick out of announcers because they'll try to make it sound like, hey, you know, if they get one early here, you know, if Dallas can, and, and they kept saying too, well, that was a good shift. That was a good shift there by Dallas. You kidding me? So, third period, Wedgwood is in. Uh, he should have been in a 3 nothing. I wrote that on the board. Uh, Haskinen, not on the bench. He's not there, did not return. Uh, Stars couldn't set up on the power play. They drew near the end of the uh, power play. Kraken cleared out. Then there's a shorthanded rush by Tanev. So, of course, Gord scores. There was like three seconds left in the power play. It's a shorthanded goal. Tanev with the assist at 149. Uh, so it was a two-on-one, and that's the first shot. So welcome to the game, Scott Wedgwood. You're seeing what kind of defensive coverage you're getting. The answer is none. Um, so the Kraken look for another, because why not? Uh, they draw themselves a power play. They cycle. Bjorkstrand has a chance that's held. The Stars clear on the next face off. They kill it off. Just the one shot. Uh, the shots are two to one for Seattle at seven minutes, and at uh, at seven minutes on a faceoff win. So this was like two seconds after I wrote that. So it's more like shots are two to one Seattle at six fifty eight. But at seven minutes, Hawk and Paw varies one on a faceoff win from Bent, which made it a a mercy game. <laughs> made it so I put back the NHL logo because then it was six to two. Has to be a five goal difference for the no mercy magnet. But yeah, anyways, crack and press for response. Wedgewood without a stick, but they don't score there. Don't worry, they would. Uh, Seattle working well to kill the clock. Really, that third period, they did a good job. Yeah, Hawk and Paw gets goal on a faceoff, but what are you going to do? Um, the faceoffs, I, I guess, are still an issue for Seattle, but they're ahead in the series, so I'm not sure how important it is. Uh, Seattle press are kept to the outside. Miller has a blast that's held. Um, and yeah, uh, 619 left. Dallas gets a power play. Crack, it didn't let him set up. Uh, Wedgwood with a bit of a gaff, but Dallas recovers. Uh, it's killed off without really... I don't think there was a shot on net. Uh, Marchment and Dunn are unfriendly, so this is where players start getting thrown out because it's like, all right, everybody out. Go on, off you go. Uh, and so, yeah, Kraken ended up coming out with a power play on one of these uh, kerfuffles. Uh, Schultz scores during that power play from Tolvin and Wenberg at 17.30 because it was the one thing they hadn't done. And not everybody had a goal yet. So basically at this point, it's, do you have, do you have a goal? Get out there. Go on. Uh, so his first screen, it was top shelf, and it just sort of fluttered in, but I don't know if Wedgwood saw it. No idea. Uh, then we had Domi versus Geeky, kind of, sort of. The officials get in between. Uh, so they're thrown out of the game. There's others thrown out of the game. The benches are half empty. They mentioned that the Dallas bench looked like it was a beer league team, and I said out loud, well, they're playing like a beer league team. So the score is 7-2. to two. That is your final. Seattle Kraken are up two games to one. I, I, I don't know. I mean, this playoffs, it's been so weird. We've seen these huge swings. And it feels to me like Dallas is in deep trouble. They have to win game four now. Uh, there There's no there's no hyperbole I can throw in here, really. There's nothing I can say. They, they have to win game four. It's just that simple. It's Game four is their season. Uh, three stars are Beneers, Grubauer, and Susie. 
Uh, your shots on net favor Seattle nine to four in the first, and Dallas seventeen to eight. So Seattle had five goals on eight shots in the second period. Dallas had one one goal on seventeen shots. Kind of broke me a little bit. Uh, in the third, Seattle outshoots them eight to five. So. Uh, final shots are 26 to 25 for Dallas. They may not indicate who was the better team. Uh, power plays 0 for 3 for Dallas, 1 for 2 for Seattle. The hits 29 to 20 for Seattle. So uh, Seattle just flat out beat them. Uh, Ottinger saves 12 out of 17. He was terrible. Uh, Wedgwood, 6 saves on 8 shots. I, I don't know. I don't know what you do in game 3 or game 4, I should say. Uh, is Belfour available? Uh, can Moog come back and, like, Turco. What about Turco? Uh, is Hudobin available? I, I, I don't know. Uh, Grubauer, 24 saves on 26 shots. Continues his remarkable run. Uh, this this redemption of Grubauer arc we've seen in these playoffs has been nothing short of remarkable. And it would be insane if Seattle knocks out Dallas because that means there would be no Central Division team in the conference finals. We'd end up with two Pacific teams against each other. Which, hey, whether it's Seattle against Edmonton or Seattle against Vegas we could have a tremendous uh, conference final. So there you go. Uh, I wore the Hockey Fights Cancer Seattle jersey because there are so few Seattle jerseys that uh, I'll, wear, I'll wear that one. Anyways, there you go. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below as always. Congratulations to the Seattle Kraken and uh, Dallas. Uh, I, I, I don't... I, anyways, <laughs> it's just one of those things where I'm like, you know... At least people will watch the video. I can share my misery with others. But hey, you know, it, it's it's the playoffs. I'm kind of used to this. Uh, I've gone over this many, many times over. Teams I cheer for do not win in the playoffs. It makes it a little easier as you get older because you kind of expect it. All right, let me know your thoughts. Hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through. You just happened upon this video. Thank you guys so much for all your support. It does make it feel a little bit better to know that support's there. And uh, I will talk to you again soon.